Hi everyone, my name is Skylar Jackson. I'm the second bassoonist with the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra. Today I want to take you through the excerpts for the BSYO's Concert Orchestra Bassoon Audition. Now there are three excerpts on this list. Um, the first one is from the second movement of the Beethoven Symphony Number no. 7. Um, the second one is from the Shostakovich Ballet Suite Number no. 1 uh, from the Waltz Movement. And the uh, last excerpt is from Bizet's Carmen Suite. All right, so I'm going to go through with you and um, give you some tips on what to make sure is most accurate. And then I will play uh, these excerpts for you. So let's start with the Beethoven Symphony Number no. 7, the Allegretto Movement. Um, this has a suggested tempo on your excerpt of 72 for the quarter note. That is right around here. All right. So that being said, try to stay around there. When you practice it, definitely practice with that tempo. Now, as you'll see throughout this excerpt, there are triplets, there are some grace notes, and then there are eighth notes, eighth notes that are counted uh, split in half, split the beat in half, right? So we got triplets, duples, plus um, these grace notes. These grace notes, um, the speed tends to vary, but they're always on the beat, um, as far as I have uh, you know played them in the past now maybe they'll be before the beat some grace notes are but often this melody that you'll hear is played on the beat Something like that, if I was playing with my metronome. Okay. And as you can hear, I'm kind of on the back side of that beat. That's okay. Don't let it drag too much. Don't let this excerpt drag too much. But it is, um, it's written piano dolce. We're going to let this relax a little bit okay as it moves through we're going to get more intense and I will show you that through um, playing the excerpt for you now the most important thing is going to be differentiating between one the grace notes two the triplets and then three the duple eighth notes okay so right off the bat you have to be able to do that you have to be able to do that within the first four measures and it continues to happen in this melody. So it's really important you understand how to get a good triplet, an accurate triplet, and accurate eighth notes. All right, so aim for that. So best way to do that, maybe we take out some grace notes. So there we've got a triplet and then um, eighth notes. That's bar 105 and 106 I just played. So so if I take out the slurs and I play it all articulated, I can make sure that I have accurate triplets and eighth notes. All right. So that is mostly what I have for you here. This is a beautiful melody. It intensifies as you go on. Don't forget to crescendo from bar 127 all the way to bar 136. Um, it really gets louder there. So play louder, try to stay beautiful with the sound, and we'll be all set. All right, so I'm gonna play this for you now. And here's our tempo. All right, so try to stay near that tempo.
that is the first excerpt. Now, let's move on to the Shostakovich Ballet Suite number one. This is a waltz. Beats one and three are important, but as you can see, if you're looking at your music right now, um, the suggested tempo is the dotted half note equals 63. So, um, <clears throat> that means that it's about this beat. But we have to have three beats within that, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, bump, 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 okay? And this excerpt, it's mostly just about one and three, like any waltz, all right? Beats one and three. So I'm just gonna play this for you now. It's very straightforward. Make sure you have the correct, uh, go over with your teachers about what F sharp fingering you wanna use, all right? There are many, there are at least three off the top of my head. I'm gonna be using um, uh, um, the longer of the, the few, so. Uh, second finger, E flat, one, two, one, two, and F key, okay? That's F sharp I like. All right, and just make sure that you can get a nice staccato articulation. Nice staccato, light, not too short, but short. All right, so here's our tempo. Bum, 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 bum. Oop, I went a little too fast. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, here we go. One, keep it piano. One, two, three. the Shostakovich Ballet Suite excerpt. Now, for the last excerpt on the list, we've got Carmen. Um, this excerpt, suggested tempo, eighth note equals 160. Just finding that here on my metronome. All right, so that I can give a, an accurate description here. Now, boom, boom, boom. So if you're following on, and it says forte e con molto ritmo. Okay, so you gotta keep this moving. It is forte. It's not soft. This is the main melody of this particular movement of the suite. And if you listen to this one beforehand, I highly recommend you listen to these before. The oboe introduces this and it's, it's really nice. You can get a good feel of the style. Make sure you understand the style here. Rhythm's important. So go over with your teachers um, to make sure you're counting things correctly. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna play this one for you and then we'll be all set. <laughs> sharp to B. It sounds a little different compared to the rest of it, but make sure that you get those right as well. All right. So that is it. Good luck. Have a good audition. Bye.